Musk and T-Mobile CEO Mike Sievert. Sievert. Going with Sievert. Roll with it. Yeah. I love it. Uh, announced on Thursday that the next generation of Starlink satellites will launch with the capability to provide internet connectivity, period. Okay. Uh uh, the partnership is called Coverage Above and Beyond. T-Mobile says uh, in the U.S. T-Mobile says in the U.S., but Musk says worldwide. Interesting. Got it. Uh, Musk at the live event said, there will be no dead zones anywhere in the world for your cell phone. It will save lives. That is actually arguably valid. That's super cool. Yeah. There's even, like, I drove pretty far into the, well, I didn't. I rode, I guess. I was not doing the driving uh, pretty far into the interior this weekend. And there was many times where I didn't have cell signal for a very extended period of time. Yeah, for sure. And like if something happened, honestly, there was a lot of cars driving by. But like if we went off road for whatever reason, yep. something happened, like it could have been pretty bad. Um, and like, yeah, you can say you should have other things with you, but a lot of people aren't going to do that. Uh, any 5G cell phone will be able to take advantage of this service without modification. It's actually... Interesting. T-Mobile contribute. Uh, T-Mobile's contribution to the project is a portion of their 5G spectrum called mid-band PCS uh, for a balance of speed, capacity, and, and yeah. penetration. Ideal for device dense metropolitan areas. No, not limited to con continental U.S. Um, Hmm. which in this case, which has always been confusing to me, and maybe someone will explain it, does not include Alaska, even though it says continental. Yeah, Alaska's on the North American continent last time I checked. But yeah, because remember when we did Highlander? It could be that they've drifted off toward Russia, but... I... Remember they did High... We, when we did Highlander, it was yep. like the second tallest mountain in the continental United States. And I was like, mm, uh, isn't there tons of taller ones in Alaska? And they're like, nope, doesn't count. I'm like, oh, weird. That's actually a thing. Oh. I just, I don't understand. I see. Yeah. Anyways, um, it is, yeah, it's not lim limited to that. Hawaii, Alaska, see, Puerto Rico, and territorial waters are all covered. Per Musk on Twitter, connectivity will be two to four megabits per cell zone. Ooh. So it will work great for texting and voice calls, but not high bandwidth. That makes sense. The service will be beta trialed in selected areas at the end of next year and will include, and will be included for free with some T-Mobile plans. That's pretty cool. That's cool for T-Mobile. <laughs> Tesla vehicles currently connected to the AT&T LTE network will also be able to connect to Starlink V2 for a speed increase. Tesla breakdowns in remote areas will no longer leave drivers stranded without a signal. Interesting. Cool. There's a discussion question. Is the 2 to 4 megabits per cell zone figure per user or in total? Uh, will other cellular carriers around the world cooperate with Starlink? Will Tesla drivers have any control over their connectivity when crossing international borders? All legit questions. These are all very good questions. We can't answer at all. Yeah, we have no way of knowing. Nope. I mean, I I think that um, I think that SpaceX has done has shown that they have a pretty clear idea of what the, the path into the future is for Starlink in terms of the actual infrastructure itself, but with respect to how billing works, how crossing geographical arbitrary lines on a map works, uh, there's there's still so, 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 so much to be sorted out. It's exciting to me. I really like this idea in general. Um, I, I hope Starlink over time is able to come down in cost. Uh, I just talking to a bunch of people. I know a lot of people that would move to less densely populated areas more quickly if things like Starlink were more easy to get, including uh, uh, a story that I don't think I'm going to get into uh, for reasons that I'll maybe explain to them later. But one of the float plane employees um, oh. has been thinking of moving somewhere that's actually super cool. Yeah, but there's major internet hookup Ooh. issues, and Starlink came up, but then availability of getting it there is like kind of potentially a problem, and all these other types of things. Right. Um, and I didn't see the end of that story, and there's reasons why I don't think we should talk about it. But um, yeah, like being able to enable people to move more places and to hopefully uh make it less of a requirement for career advancement to be in densely populated metropolitan areas. Yeah, would be that'd be awesome. Sweet. 